Hi guys, so as you can see by the title of this video, I had my first coat and it wasn't my patient technically, it was another person, another nurse's patient on in the ICU. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit because I haven't really had a real code my entire nursing career, which has only been a little more than a year, and I haven't had a code my first seven weeks of orientation, and so I kept telling my the nurse that I'm precepting with, I was like, I, if there's a code, I need to go to it because I don't want to be on my own and have like my first code. So we were doing something in one of my patient's rooms and they called the code it was like five rooms down for me and i was like bye <laughs> i'm going to the code and you guys are going to think i'm so weird and or maybe not maybe some of you can relate but like not that i wanted any of my patients to code not that i want that for the sake of my patient and their family members so don't take it like that but I wanted someone to code for like the, I needed that experience. And not that I would wish it upon anyone or anything like that, but like I, like I wanted someone to code so I could like go and be involved. And that makes me sound like a terrible person, but if you're like an ICU nurse or ER nurse or like an adrenaline person, you probably can relate, is like you kind of thrive off of that like energy and like doing those things. So. I've been waiting for a code. I've been like not praying for one. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But I've been anxiously waiting one. So it finally happened and I went in the room and I got right in there. I we had to all gown up and wear masks because this patient was like spewing blood. It was very, very messy and very like not like in the movies, if you know what I mean. Like it was like, oh my gosh. But I got right in there, I put the pads on, I didn't do any compressions because we had a lot of strong guys there and they're like, let's do this, let's do compressions. And I stood right between the two intensivists, so um, one was on my right, one was on my left, so I was just soaking in all of the information and they were talking out loud about like what could have happened, blah, 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 what they needed to do. Um, I helped push meds and overall it was a really good experience to see how it works. There were so many people there helping, there were so many people involved and it just went really like smooth if that makes sense it's like there was a method to the madness if that makes sense like it was crazy but it wasn't because everyone had a role and was doing things we had people squeezing blood we had people doing meds we had people doing cpr we had people bagging the doctors intubating we had people dopplering the pulses we had people going to get the blood people going to find more meds the pharmacist was there the manager was there there were so many people there um it was a very sad code in the end the patient didn't make it they had a lot of family in the room and the family was very rightfully so um very very emotional and um so it was very sad but i'm glad i got that experience and i'm a terrible person i know but i'm an adrenaline junkie and i really like like the <laughs> like those things i know it's terrible i would never wish that on anyone i would never wish it on anyone's family member if any of you are watching this you're like oh my god i'm i'm offending you i'm sorry it's just i'm an adrenaline junkie and i really enjoy those situations so that was my experience and i'm sure i'm gonna have a lot more i talked to my the preceptor that i'm that i was with and we were, I was like, how many, like, how often do you get codes? That was like the first question I pretty much asked. Like, how often do you get codes here? And she's like, well, sometimes you'll do six a day and sometimes you won't do any for, you know, a couple weeks, but you'll do enough of them here to where you feel comfortable enough when you do them and like, you know what to do. So that was good. I'm glad I got that experience. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time.